One of the most confusing aspects of sexual harassment is identifying the types of behavior that can be categorized as sexual harassment. Determining what is and what is not appropriate behavior in the workplace is not always clear-cut or as simple as we would hope. This topic provides examples and activities that clarify behaviors that constitute sexual harassment. What is sexual harassment? To help us get started, take a moment to consider the following questions. They are designed to help you articulate your thoughts on sexual harassment in the workplace. How would you define sexual harassment in the workplace? When does sexual harassment occur? What actions could constitute sexual harassment? Why might people who are victims of sexual harassment not complain? Let's take a look at some of the common answers to these questions. How would you define sexual harassment in the workplace? Coworker asking me to date him or her. A manager asking me for a sexual favor or I'll lose my position. A peer grabbing me inappropriately. One of my supervisors saying, hey, if you and I get together for the weekend, I think that it would help your chances of a promotion. One of my coworkers constantly talking about her sex life using graphic language. When does sexual harassment occur? A man tries to hit on a woman. The boss makes provocative comments. Someone in power tries to take sexual advantage of someone who does not have the same level of power. Peers touch you or make unwelcome comments in the workplace. What actions could constitute sexual harassment? Having someone expose himself or herself to you. Being given a back rub by a coworker. Having to listen to sex jokes told by coworkers. Having unwelcome comments made to you such as, Hey, good looking. Hi, babe. You look hot today. Being stared at by a colleague. Why might people who are victims of sexual harassment not complain? They are embarrassed. They feel that they have done something to provoke or bring on this type of behavior. They are afraid of being labeled a troublemaker. They are scared of what the other person may do. They feel that it is just part of the job. Next, we will take a look at ways we can identify sexual harassment.